first off, congratulations on breaking into the Billboard 200 at number 39 Something with uh, Coast to Coast. Yeah, it's a big ups. There's no, no radio, little radio. It's amazing. Absolutely no on TV. It's amazing. <laughs> it's all about the underground. You're it's sitting here by your man. It's the official uh, interview. Really. Also, uh, tell us about that uh, problem you guys had with MySpace. We guys, uh, I believe you guys have kept on getting your... Yeah, for some reason, uh, MySpace was pulling down the Cottonmouth King site, you know? And I'm not sure why. Every time we put it up, they pull it down. They kept pulling it down. We never got the exact exact reason why they were doing it, but we did get in contact with the actual people that run MySpace, and now they let us have a MySpace page. So go to the MySpace at CottonmouthKings.com and say what's up to all the Cottonmouth Kings. Check it out at the end of the track. Hey, it's hard to get on it, you know, I mean, we're on the road a lot of times. We're on tour right now, so it's hard to get on it every day and respond. But, you know, when we're home, we definitely, you know, I know Rick is always up on it. Starts water. building up when you're on the road, man. Yeah. You don't do it for a week or something, you end up getting like thousands of thousands people want, a thousand requests, thousands of letters. It takes a long time. I read every letter I get, but I just don't have time to respond to most of the letters, you know what I mean? But I do read it, so if you want to post something, I will eventually get to it. Yeah, and you guys have, all of y'all have an individual. Yeah, I got my mind, it's the real Richter. The real Richter. There's some fakes out there? Yeah, there's some fakes out there on my, uh, that Yeah, there's some fakes. fakes. Yeah, the the D-Log, you know, D -D -Log, the only time D-Log ever gets on is if he gets on it on the Cottonmouth Kings one. He never, D-Log don't have a MySpace, so if you think you have D-Log as your buddy, you don't. Because he ain't your deal. It ain't D-Log. D-Log's like on the Cottonmouth Kings one only. So. You need to see me with a picture in Hawaii. If that's if that's the one you're on. That's me. That's him, the real Richter. So make sure you check it out. Uh, since you guys were talking about just touring right now, how's life on the road with uh, your new label mate, Tessie? Well, it's fun, man. We're out here with uh, Submarine Soldiers, Chucky Styles, Dirtball, Big B, and Head PE, and Cottonmouth King. So, and then it'll start in, in Atlanta. Uh, Potluck's gonna join us. Their new group on the label from Humboldt County. They got record dropping, but it's always good to be out with the Submarine family. You know, what I mean, it feels the most comfortable. And it just feels like, it always feels like the right chemistry when we go out Suburban Noise bands, you know, because Suburban Noise is the name of our label. And we, you know, we have 24 artists on the label and it always feels good. It's like a family-based label, so it's really good. We, we used to go watch Head play 10 years ago in Placentia at Club 369, I mean, other places and places. Humble Gods, Humble Gods play with them all the time back in the day. Yeah. So we've known of Head and actually known them and hung out with them for years and years, so to have them on our label is just like, it's just the right thing to do, you know what I mean? It makes sense. Yeah, it from, makes uh, perfect sense. Things. Yeah, it's all those who drop right in there. It's just Spurman, man. Have you all had any, uh, since you guys are on Twitter, have you had any trouble at the uh, checkpoints? Anything like that? Well, we've, we've had a couple incidents, you know what I mean, on this tour in particular. Um, we got our vehicle, one of our vehicles impounded in Kansas for a little weed infraction and one of our guys put in jail overnight. But um, as far as the checkpoints are concerned, because we came down, I, I must have been sleeping. BJ, we have a BJ. We, oh, hey, we go to any of the checkpoints. <laughs> we bypass them so far. But let's, let's knock on some wood, you know what I'm saying? And keep having a safe, clean tour. But you know what I mean, that bottom line is, it's still in this in this day and age. I mean, that's part of the, one of the reasons we're still a group is the fact that in the year 2006, you can arm an 18 year old kid, put a put a, a AK-47 on his back, and send him to the Middle East to fight a war. But you can't grow a plant in your own backyard. You know what I mean? It, it's the fact that you could buy a gun in any in any store, alcohol in any store. You put a rifle in Texas, can't you put a rifle in, in your car or something to show your weapon? Yeah. Exactly. Weapons are legal, violence is acceptable, but a plant is illegal. So part of our message as the Cottonmouth Kings is trying to spread awareness and hopefully enough, enough rise of consciousness and a collective, uh, you know, a collective group of people could you know change the laws one day and hopefully a plant won't be a crime. You know, yeah. somehow they've had it all twisted around to where now nature's the enemy. You know what I mean? That's why we say the Stony Revolution is on. Seek truth, observe nature, and educate yourself. Know your rights. Check. Yeah, I understand you go by that. Can you give, give us a little bit of uh, insight on in that? Uh, speak truth, observe nature, and educate yourself? Seek truth, uh, observe. It's basically Stony. One of the, yes, uh, Stony Waters is a, a, a longtime friend of ours from P-Town. And uh, he's out here. He actually sells our merchandise. He's just involved. He's a friend of ours. And, he has this uh, clothing company called Stone. It's all made from hemp and recycled products. And it's basically seek truth, observe nature, and educate yourself. Basically, it's about seeking truth. It's, you know, sometimes you're not going to find the truth. You know what I mean? Sometimes you're, you're, you're brainwashing programs through the school systems and through 
you know, the TV and the media. And unless you seek out other forms of information, you're not going to find it. You know what I mean? So that's seek truth. Like seek it out. Read for yourself. Draw your own conclusions. You know what I mean? If something doesn't feel right to you as a human being, if you know if something just doesn't feel right, it's probably not right. You know what I mean? But most people are brainwashed not to question things. You know what I mean? We say question authority, question everything, draw your own conclusions. You know what I mean? So, and then observing nature is just pretty much taking care of the planet Earth, respecting the planet Earth. You know, just getting back in touch with nature, getting the natural rhythm of the way we were intended to live on this planet as human beings, and educate yourself. Is this, it's up to each individual to, you know, to take control of their own reality because you do create your own reality, and your reality is what you make. So, you know, each person has their own journey and is going to evolve in different levels of awareness. So, you know, just everyone's experiencing this reality a little differently, but, you know, just make it the best experience you can experience this is you only have one life to live yeah ask questions demand answers there you, go. Um, you guys just released the everybody moves video um, any ideas of what it is next any clue well yeah we uh, we shot the first one out off this record was where's the weed at we dropped out on 420 it had a little bit of a song called bong toe we did that to celebrate 420 Everybody move, and then we did the Can't Stop video. Yeah, never stop, right? Never stop. And uh, we also have a DVD coming out that we just shot, actually, coming out yeah. in the fall. Uh, November 21st. <coughs> it's it's called, you, it's, it's called The Joint is on Fire, and it's a live Thanks. DVD. But shot with really guys interviews, and it's a live concert. And, you know, Cotton Mouth Kings, you know, you probably saw it tonight, you know, we do a two hour show, you know what I mean? So, under the harshest conditions. I mean, so we try and give the fans their money's worth, and I think that's one of the reasons why we're still around 10 years later, people still buy tickets to come to our shows because, you know, we give people their money's worth. Yeah, going on 12 years, actually. Yeah, something like that. Dirty, the Dirty Dozen. Dirty Dozen. It's a 12 pack. Uh, I just said you guys took the home the Cannabis Cup. Uh, yeah, well, we just got, you know, it's funny as you say that because right now today. Well, back, is, right? What, what is that? July what? November? What's today? Today, July? July 17th. July 11th. So we just found out today that Cottonmouth Kings just got invited back to the 2006 Cannabis Cup. And, and so we're going to Amsterdam in November. So if you've never been to Amsterdam or never been to the Cannabis Cup, book your ticket. Get out. There's a great time. Amsterdam is a free society, as you probably know. Like, weed isn't demonized in. in, in, in uh, in Amsterdam, and it's actually legal. You can go pick out different kind of herbs you want in the coffee shops, space cakes, and all this fun. Go see awesome. European. <laughs> oh, we just congratulations. Thank you. you. I'm back. real excited yeah. now. Fuck so November's we're looking better. Cannabis Cup, November 20th. Hey. This year, 2006, yeah. Cotton Mountain returning. We're doing three shows over there, and uh, um, yeah, well, we're real excited. We just found out today. Rick just found out right this second on the spot. He's about on Cannabis the spot. Cup, I'm going to Amsterdam. Go to Amsterdam. That's all. Heard it exclusive right here. Yeah, I'm ready. Brand new exclusive on the spot. Breaking news. Uh, Richter and uh, D-Lo, tell us about the Kingspin CD, man. That shit's fine. Yeah, the first one came out you know, a couple years ago, um, almost two years ago, and uh, we put it out as a side project because when we're at home, everybody's got the side project. X does uh, uh, the Organic Soul, and Bobby B does his DJ records, and the Southern Noise Soul, where we all get together, and so me and Luke did a Kingspin record, and uh, had a real great response, all the fans didn't like it. We just kept it all hip hop, kept it just real rootsy with me and him, like just the fun stuff we used to listen to back in the days with all the beats and the bass. And so we just did a record, just you know, mainly focused doing that, and uh, had such a great response that we're in the middle of making the King Spade 2 record right now. We have a name, that's just its name right now, but the second record for King Spade is uh, in the process right now. We're making it, so hopefully it'll drop next year, too. So we're looking for that, dude. Yeah, yeah. Uh, anything you guys want to say to the internet, the world, everybody out there? This is going to be all over MySpace, the internet, YouTube, everything. Yeah, go to CottonmouthKings.com. Um, the, the new record, Cottonmouth Kings record, is Coast to Coast. You go to SuburbanNoiseRecords.com, CottonmouthKings.com, check out uh, all the uh, Cottonmouth King records. That's the eighth full length, plus we have double lives and the Cottonmouth Experience, a couple of EPs, so you know, put it down, joint venture, yeah, exactly. So, so, you know, there's a lot of history out there in the Cottonmouth Kings. If you're just finding out about us, go check it. For those of you that know, come out to see uh, Cottonmouth Kings live sometimes. It's a good time. We're having a great time on the Coast to Coast tour. Cottonmouth Kings still blow on small friends. Can't stop, won't stop, can't stop, won't stop, can't stop, won't stop, can't stop, won't stop, can't stop. Can't stop.
bitch, don't pop off. Tattoos all over my body, I'm covered in cotton. Now, kings, I bleed this shit, dog. Yo, don't even bother me. Microphone on my left arm, I gotta keep it real. Rock it, go.